Some people may say that I'm running, and maybe I am running, but I'm also discovering, and I'm discovering a lot. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to Egypt. To the Hab Egypt. Hi. So um, this video is going to be a just a quick tour of the accommodation that I have because a lot of people asked about it. And then also uh, the first day that I've had in Dahab. This is my first full day. And I'll just, you know, go through what we did and what I saw and my first impressions of Egypt and also this area of Egypt, which is very, very, very different, I believe, than like say Cairo or something, which we will get to. But this is my first impressions of Dahab. After all of that, I'm gonna give you a tour of the accommodation that I'm staying, the pricing, whatever else I feel like or remember to put in. Um, so let's go into the small town, I guess you'd call it, of Dahab. This is the big town of Dahab. Egypt is pretty affordable in terms of pricing of things. Let me know in the comments below if you want a haul of everything that I've purchased here which I'm on a budget, so is isn't a lot, but I wanna definitely get some things from Egypt. I did need to get some sandals because I didn't bring any with me, and there's actually a child manning the shop. And in Egypt, it's very common to haggle prices. It's actually expected. Okay. Sometimes they'll try to overcharge you a little bit, but they usually always come down at least a little bit in price. Thank you. The next stop, we went and got a cold drink beside the water, which was in this nice little cafe that we could sit beside the water, and I ordered a lemon and mint drink upon Layla's recommendation, which was yummy and refreshing. There's also a lot of stray dogs everywhere, and they like to go into the water to stay cool during the day. They're all very friendly, so I like to pet them when I get a chance. The next place we went to was to get food, and it had some sleeping kitties there. It was very colorful. I love this place. It was actually by the water as well. For the drinks, we ordered a hibiscus drink and also a watermelon drink. This is our, this is our date. This is our date. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what I mean, boys? Oh, that, that's so good. That's so delicious. Just to skip and hop away. Yeah. My hair. I need to figure out something to do with this. Maybe some soup. Yeah, maybe. So right across over there, over there is Saudi Arabia right across the water. We ordered quite a bit of food that we tried really hard to finish, uh, a lot of Middle Eastern food that I had not had before. So it was all very delicious, especially the hummus. It was so good. It's kind of like spinach, but it's not. You see like the consistency is kind of like bluish. Yeah. But it's so yummy. This is like one of my favorite things when you can't find it like outside of the Middle East and North Africa. The owner then told me to bring my camera and he wanted to show me something. Oh! Oh my god! Oh wow! And he took us upstairs which had phenomenal views and it was really really cool.
And that was my first day in Dahab, which was a great experience. And this is Halva, in case you wanted to know. So I hope you enjoyed that day. Now I'm going to give you a little tour of the accommodation I'm staying at and what the type of pricing is for accommodation in general in this town. So firstly, I'm on the outskirts of Dahab a bit. Dahab is a very small town um, and you can pretty much bike or walk everywhere. I'm probably the farthest away that you can be, but I have a bike. Anyways, it's very hot, but this is an Airbnb that we got outside. It's very hot out and I don't have sunblock on yet today. So I'm not gonna go out there, but come on in. Uh, take your shoes off if you want. We like to wipe our feet out here because the sand gets everywhere. It's the door, come in. And then, now I didn't really like clean it up too much. It's just, it kind of is what it is. Um, it's not like super crazy or impressive or anything. So um, I'm just gonna show you what you can get for, um, let me see, in USD dollars, this is around, what I wanna say around $700 for a month. Cause we got it for the month and we're splitting it between two people, which it can fit two or even three people. So you get your whole, you get the whole apartment. Um, it has air conditioning, it has everything you need, you know, like an Airbnb would. So usually during the day, Layla doesn't like the AC on, she doesn't like the AC. So we just kind of have the windows open because it's very um, breezy and windy here. So it works. You kind of have to acclimate to the hot weather anyways. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but five times a day, they have uh, announcements kind of like uh, for a prayer or something. I don't remember what, what it exactly it's for, but I think it's for people to remember to do their prayers. Yeah, so that's what that is. It's, it's a good reminder. I wish that we had more stuff like that, maybe to even help us to remember to meditate or take a moment. This is the coffee table. I stub my toe on it every day, three times a day. I sleep on this couch and it's actually very comfortable. Then we have decoration, got the Buddha. And the monkey, the sheets. It's, it, it'd be difficult to find, um, I think, a better and bigger location to stay at than this place. Because like I said, it's a very small, oh look, I got a sunburn. <laughs> it's a very small um, area. So usually you'd probably get like a hotel in town, which would be a lot easier to get around, or maybe like a smaller Airbnb. This is where I edit and do my computer stuff. It comes with internet, but, being out in the middle of nowhere, obviously the, inter the internet, the internet is kind of limited. It works pretty fast, but once it's out, <laughs> we used, I use, I don't know if it was me or, or both of us, but we used the internet up in like three days, the, the amount you're supposed to have for a month. I'm not used to limited internet. I'm like, oh, this is hard. <laughs> so this is the bed area. Um, like I said, we didn't really like tidy it up right now. So um, this is where Layla sleeps and these are nice. They're, they also have little little lights. Keep pretty a fan. And then this is the closet space where we store our clothes. It's kind of thrown in there. I mean, it's not we're not staying here long term, so it's not like we like whatever. It's my luggage and stuff there. Got the plates, and then we'll come into the kitchen. This is a little kitchen. Here, you cannot leave any crumb out because there are a lot of little ants. They're tiny ants, so it's manageable, but they got into my granola. Mm -hmm. I had one bowl of granola, and after that they got into it, and um... But anyways, see, this is just a normal kitchen. Like, I know, right? Crazy, it's just a normal kitchen. Uh, you have a stove. The one thing about this kitchen, that I'm just, like, I feel like maybe they um, really researched Pinterest to decorate this place, which is really nicely decorated. But I don't understand this quote. I mean, I'm sure it's funny or something, but. Teas, sugars, a bunch of water, water, water. You have to drink a lot of water here, a big water. You got a freezer. There's my granola. And then so basically just put all the food in the fridge or don't have it open. And then I got 
three different kinds of Greek yogurt. I thought they were different flavors, but they're all plain. <laughs> I don't know, that was a nice surprise. Out here is just, um, this leads to, well, I guess I'll show you because it also has a uh, laundry facilities. And I like the lighting out here. It's very pretty. I feel all elegant going up these stairs. But basically the laundry is all the way up the stairs. And I think that there are more apartments up there, but we're the only ones staying here for right now. Um, it's pretty difficult to get here during Corona. So there's not a lot of tourists. There's not a lot of people here. I think it's probably the same for most places. So we're kind of just here. The laundry dries very, very quickly here. So you just hang it up and it's dry. Um, my hair also having dreadlocks is kind of annoying for my hair drying, but it dries pretty nice. Okay. So yeah, that's the little kitchen. And then this is the bathroom. I think my favorite thing about the bathroom is this. Doop. Hot tech. Isn't that cool? So the shower is like this. It's open. And then use that. Um, this is in kind of like a construction, like they're constructing more buildings out here, but they're not done. So, and this has a little bidet thing on it. I've never really seen one that works like this. Oops. <laughs> this goes right up like that. I don't know why we don't have those in America. Like, why don't we have bidets in America? They're so convenient and nice and hygienic, I feel. So this is all my sunblock and then there's more storage under there. Everything you might need. I like that bathroom. I go to the bathroom. The pricing for other accommodation here is probably uh, for a hotel, which is pretty standard of what you would want to do um, in town, is around kind of normal pricing, I guess. You can get a whole hotel room with like your own bathroom or anything for twenty to thirty dollars per night, which is not bad. You're right in the town. You're right by the water. You can walk out and go to the water. It's very beautiful. And um, I hope I showed you some of that in this video. But yeah, that's the tour. That's my first day in Dahab. My first impressions are that I like it a lot. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting much actually, because I was just along for the ride. I wanted to go to Egypt. Um, I didn't even know of a place called Dahab, but Layla came here. So I'm like, you know, what? I'm just gonna come with you. And that's what I did because uh, it's great to have a travel partner. Layla has been amazing at helping me get around and stuff because she was here a week before me. And it's been a real treat, a real treat. I like it. I feel like I really, I've always loved Egyptian culture and history and Egyptian people are so kind here anyways. I don't know about Cairo yet, but here they're funny, they're kind. Um, just, it's a really chill place. And it's probably because it's like a beach town um, a lot of beach towns are like, that's kind of like where the hippies go. You know, if you're kind of an alternative person, no worries. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't need to cover up here. Like, you'd probably have to in Cairo and stuff. People aren't like that. You know, they're used to seeing people swimming and stuff. So it's not like that. Uh, you can wear whatever you want. You can have tattoos. Uh, Egyptian guys here, I have not been objectified once. This town, anyways, I don't know about the rest of Egypt, but it's very safe and very chill. And I like it. So if you're planning a trip to Egypt, I would say go to Sharm or Dahab because it's really going to give you some, if you want to like scuba dive or snorkel or do any water sports, that's the place to go. So I hope I enlighten you on Dahab and what you can do here. Food and like buying little jewelry and stuff like this. This was like a little more than a dollar or something. It's cheap and it's, um, they have some really nice stuff. Thank you for joining me on this first day. Uh, I'm gonna show you what all you can do here, probably in my next video. And eventually we're gonna make our way up to Cairo and see what all that is about. You know, I know I'll have to cover up more there, but we're gonna make our way there. So stay here, come along the journey with me and I hope to enlighten you. Stay extraterrestrial, give us a like and subscribe if you're not, if you're not. <laughs> it's actually the first day I'm wearing foundation because I was doing, I was making an Instagram picture because I haven't been wearing any foundation here. And it's been fine. It's actually been pretty good for my skin. Enough rambling. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video.